Hello, I'm Lauren Ryu from jamwithlauren.com and today we are discussing uh, how to cross tune your fiddle and retune your fiddle to various tunings. This is part two of a series, so if you wanna go check out the first video on cross A, this video will discuss cross G. And so I'm starting off in standard tuning and I have a five string, so my lowest string is C, and then I go to G, D, A, and then my highest string is E. And in cross G, um, I'm going to be bringing my E string down to a D and my A string down to a G. So we'll move both of those down a step. You'll see a lot of similarities between cross A and cross G. They have the same relationship to each other and they feel exactly the same way when you're playing them. It's just that the tones, the notes that are produced are different pitches. And so that's why one of them is cross A and one of them is cross G. All right, let's get started. So we are going to uh, start with the A string. Our regular open A is going to come down to a G. So if you have something that produces a pitch, I have a piano here. We have A, which goes down to G, or also you could just play it on your fiddle. Hear that note? That's the note that you're gonna go down to. Or you could have some kind of drone maker, um, which I have right here, and here's a G. So you could have that going if you wanted that instead. So um, I'm going to use my right hand to tune. I'm gonna be in my lap and I'm going to pluck with my left thumb so I can hear how far I've tuned my string so I don't go past the note that I need to go. So A goes down to G, here we go. And now let's do the E string. The E is gonna come down to e, D. E is gonna go down to D. Now I should say that while I'm doing this, I'm still pushing into my peg box. So the friction of the peg um, is, the friction of the wood between the peg and the peg box are holding the string in place and in tune. Sorry. tuned my E to my D and my A to my G and then I have some octaves and since I have a C string I'm going to tune my C all the way down to a low G. I'm doing that because I want the relationship to be exactly the same as it would be if it were as if I were in cross A but some people might prefer to tune their C string up to a D instead. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna tune it down. Here's the normal pitch, C, and I'm gonna go down to G all the way down, so it'll be very loose. Alrighty, so we've got D. So there's less tension on my fiddle right now than there normally is. And so that will feel different in your hands. Um, you'll notice the difference between cross A, which is under more tension, and cross G, which is under less tension. So they do have a different feel to them and a different sound because of the difference in tensions. All right, let's find the notes on the fingerboard and find the unisons and uh, fun things about this tuning. So I'd like to point out that you already know where the notes are on your open G. C, A, B, C. Pinky plays the D, which is the unison as the open D. E, F sharp. Normally you'd play the A right there, right? So all of those notes are exactly the same as they normally would be in uh, standard. It's the upper strings that are changing this time. So this third finger G is now in unison with your new open G. So we have open G. So all the same fingerings that we used 
G's down here, open G, first finger A, open G, first finger A, B, C, D is your pinky, open D, E, F sharp, G, A. And so all the same notes for all the same fingers on these two sets of strings. Um, let's just descend. We've got, this is our A, G, F sharp, E, D, same note, pinky. So unison D is there. C, B, A, G. This is the same G. So I wanna back up. Your first finger was an A. This pinky is also an A. So there's a unison right there. And then there's a unison G. which has gone out of tune a little bit already um, because my instrument is not used to having my C go that low. Although it could get used to it if I did it more frequently. Okay, so uh, just as, again to point out some octaves, you've got this G. And then if I were, um, really serious, I would continually tune my instrument to really make sure that it gets used to being under less tension. So I would recommend pausing the video, going and playing a bunch of tunes that are in the key of G um, and then when you're ready, come back to this video and we will go to standard. We'll return to standard tuning, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so remember your bottom two strings are already where they need to be. They'll probably need to be readjusted once, we've got, once we move our new high open G back up to our regular A. So here's the G and then we need to go up to A. So. Remember, I'm going to pluck with my left hand, I'm gonna tune with my right hand, and I'm gonna push in and up at the same time. Here's the note that I wanna to go to. Slowly. And there it is. I actually went a little sharp, so I came down. Okay, and then the D, my high D string, is now needs to go up to an E. That's where I need to go. So nice and slowly. When I'm tuning my E string up, I often turn my fiddle a little bit away from my face and I turn my face away from the fiddle um, because these are the ones that have the highest chance of snapping. And in um, this way, if I'm plucking with my thumb and the string pops, it's usually gonna hit my arm as opposed to um, coming up and hitting my face, my lip or my eye or something like that. So I, uh, Word to the wise, turn your fiddle away and your face away. Okay, let's get this D up to the E, nice and slowly. Keep going. There it is. And then the D got a little flat. Remember my C string is tuned all the way down to the G. So I'm gonna bring it up to the C. Here we go, nice and slowly. Keep going. Turn. So the tension was so, so loose that even though I had the other four strings pretty well in tune, and now that I've changed the tension um, to bring my G back up to my C, my, my low G, my lowest G all the way back up to the proper standard C, it changed the tension. And so all the other strings are out of tune again. So that's why I recommend not dwelling too much on getting everything perfectly in tune if one of your if one of your strings is not even on the dartboard, like not even in the realm of the pitch that you're supposed to be at. 
Okay, so. I take my bow once I'm closer. Really, the C has to recover a lot. standard. Thanks so much for joining me. You can go to jamwithlauren.com slash blog and find the blog post or scroll down to the comments um, and uh, have, have fun. Enjoy part three of this video, which we'll start talking about high bass. Okay, until next time.